It's time for Eye Openers Wikipedia Am I Now? Hey, did you remember to pay your taxes? Well, let's hope so because the deadline was yesterday. And if you owe anything, you best pay up because Uncle Sam won't forget about it. And if you're one of those unfortunate people who happens to be a celebrity who also owes a bunch of money, you better believe the tax man will get his. So that got us thinking. Who are some of the biggest celebrities to owe some back taxes? First up, America's favorite convicted felon, Martha Stewart. Before she was guilty of insider trading, the craftiest inmate from cell block D had to pay the state of New York $220,000 in back taxes and penalties. And you'd think after paying all of that, she would have learned to stay out of trouble. Next up, the redheaded stranger Willie Nelson, who back in 1990 owed $16 million in back taxes and had almost everything he owned seized. Of course, it was later found Pricewaterhouse invested his money instead of paying taxes for him. But the damage had already been done. Maybe that explains why he was in this. You know why divorces are so expensive? <laughs> no! Because they're worth it! <laughs> One of the most famous tax evaders, Wesley Snipes, ended up owing the IRS $17 million in back taxes, plus penalties and interest. He tried to pay it off, but for Blade, it was too little too late and actually went to prison for over two years. After getting out, he made fun of his legal troubles in The Expendables 3. So why'd you get locked away? Tax evasion. And finally, the greatest and or craziest actor of all time, Nick Cage. Besides getting stung by bees, no, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! Or doing whatever the heck this is, That's all you have to do! It turns out Nick Cage is really good at not paying his taxes, owing $6 million to the IRS in 2009. I never misfiled anything! Not once, not one time! And while he said it was the fault of his ex-manager and accountant, we're pretty sure it might have something to do with spending habits that included buying the skull of a Tyrannosaurus Rex for over a quarter of a million dollars and having to return it because it was stolen. So yeah, moral of the story, pay your taxes. Otherwise, you'll feel the sting of the IRS, just like Nick Cage. Ah! 